What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Zero Hour because they're coming out with the new Operation. This one is called Operation Thunder. So I'm assuming that they call this Operation Thunder because they showed off a little video here where uh, it's just, you know, raining. And you can see like the thunder in the background. They're actually adding like uh, dynamic stuff to this. I think this is also the new map. Yeah, this is the new, I think police station that they showed off see like the rain coming down you could actually see some wind blowing too that's kind of cool You're making the maps a little more dynamic than they already are in my opinion it's going to be releasing on september 7th 2022 which is not that far from now we're going to go over what's going to be in it according to this it's going to be coming with improvements to visuals and animations player movement and hostage gameplay unfortunately this update does not elaborate on what any of this actually means so it's only speculation at this point it's kind of a problem that i have with these developers is that they'll put something out but they don't explain at all what any of this means like what exactly do they mean by player movement like is it getting like a brand new skeleton or something actually it looks like they just come out with a video on their twitter let's take a look at this okay this might explain a little bit probably I'll turn on the audio here okay improvements coming with operation thunder hostage gameplay all right, so this is before they're walking up the stairs. Okay. And it would be like a rope. The dude like get up and just start following him. Like the hostage would walk in like such a weird way, I guess. Yeah, like he looked freaking weird. Like he's like walking on like a tight rope or something. Okay, so this is what it looks like afterwards. Is that the new model? Or is it the same one? Actually, hold on, hold on. Let me do a quick comparison here. Yeah, the, okay, so yeah, the, the model is completely different. Look at the vest is like a lot bigger than the previous one. So this is the old model here. That's the old model. And now this is the newer one. Yeah, it's a tinier vest right there. It's a little more tinier, but he has the same gun, I think. The same, well, no. I think the other one was an FAL, and this is a different one, I think. And this is the MP5. I'm not sure if the MP5 is in the game. I can't remember. I think it is. The animations kind of look the same though. So it looks like the hostage is falling a lot closer. Like the they shortened the string just a little bit. And like he's really following him. Yep, this is definitely the new character model. So I didn't really see that much of a difference there. I mean, I guess um, they made it so that the hostage falls a lot closer. Like he really sticks to you. So, I mean, I guess that's that's okay, I guess. Maybe you saw something I didn't. Let me know down in the comments below. But uh, yeah, that really seems to be everything that's kind of related to this update. But before I go, one thing that I noticed is that these developers have really been getting like experimental with their game. Like how in the previous patch, they added in puzzles to the game. Like this was a freaking nightmare to try and figure out. If you want to check out the video that I did on it, I'll have a link to it in the description at the top right you could check out the freaking nightmare i had to go through to solve this damn thing but yeah they're they're getting a little experimental they added in puzzles and then they're gonna add in a dog which they actually just showed off a video of here so this is the video of the dog right here and he's just kind of like walking along not sure what the dog's gonna do uh i'm curious to know if they have like animations of it running and attacking guys or if it's just kind of like a side thing like i don't know what's going on here with this like maybe they use it to try to find a bomb or maybe drugs or i don't know they're pretty vague they don't 
exactly explain what it's supposed to do but uh they said that it was going to come with operation thunder but it looks like they're actually not going to come with it at all it says unfortunately we won't be able to release the dog with this update we haven't been able to bring it to a point yet where it's polished and visually appealing to our standards sorry for the inconveniences um i wonder if they saw my video when i said that the dog kind of looks a little ugly like i saw this and i was like oh it's not a good looking dog Looks like a mutt to me more than a German Shepherd. I wonder if they saw that and they were like, you know what, we don't like the way it looks either. Come on, let's make let's make it look a little better. But yeah, another experimental thing that they're doing is third person. And here's a video of this right here. Uh, oh. I did not hear about this though. Bomb vest? Oh shit. That's probably like the most exciting thing that I've seen so far is actual like bomb people with bomb vest running at you and just boom. With the whole third person thing, I feel like he's a little too close to the middle here. If they if they set the camera a little more to the right and then put a reticle in the middle right there, I think that this would work. But this right here, it's kind of it, it kind of looks like it's a little hard to aim. I don't know how to feel about this. It, it's just a little odd it's not like a feature that it's going to be like required to do it's going to be just like a thing that a server can put on if they wanted to just to see how it feels i guess but it kind of feels like um player unknown battlegrounds where he's running around and then he goes back into the freaking regular view and starts shooting like that definitely wouldn't mind it it'd be nice if we could have like a little reticle right here and maybe the guy pushed up just a little more to the left because i feel like he's a little too center little reticle right here would be nice if i wasn't gonna aim you know i mean i guess i could just guess where the reticle is i guess feels like it's gonna be like somewhere maybe like right here i don't know how to feel about this you know i think it's interesting i was actually saying that they could um you know implement this in actual game like if you're trying to like get up on a building like he goes in the third person and then when he gets out he can you know come out at third person or if he's like disarming a bomb he could go into third person and like look around to see if there's bad guys coming after him and like the multi Player. i think that that would be interesting but yeah i mean seeing that uh bomb vest right there that was actually kind of cool it's saying here that third person will be available in co-op mode uh along with that bomb vest thing i don't think that's been in the game before right but yeah that's pretty much everything when it comes to uh zero hour thought i'd make a quick video here because you know i saw that there was like a mini update but there really wasn't like a whole lot going on with it just operation thunder and it's showing off just a couple of things but it does not exactly explain them i guess they recently just showed off a video of hostage gameplay but the only difference that i really saw was that the hostage sticks a lot closer to you and it, it doesn't seem like the movement or anything of the hostage changed like it looks like he still walks the same he's just, just a lot closer but uh yeah that pretty much looks like it does it for zero hour what are your guys' thoughts it does seem interesting tell me what you think down below because i'm gonna end it here if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like zero hour then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or hop on that join button that's underneath the video if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on zero hour or any other game that i decide to cover and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye